This experiment is named after the 14th century philosopher Jean Buridan, whose stance on moral determinism was criticized with the hypothetical situation of a donkey starving to death between two haystacks because it cannot decide from which to eat first. The experiment was invented by Karl Goetz in 1980 using a hardware object finder to detect the position of a fly walking on a platform. To prevent the flies from escaping, their wings are shortened. The flies walk on a platform surrounded by water, in the presence of two black stripes mounted on the brightly lit walls surrounding the platform. Here you see the rack on which we have mounted our system. The wheels allow us to use the setup in any room in our institute, be it in a teaching or research setting. We can put the computer controlling the experiments into this lowest shelf if we want to move the setup. The grey cylindrical object houses the arena where the experiments will run. On top of the rack stands an old monitor ready to be hooked up to the computer. Now let's have a look inside the arena. On the white bottom you can see the platform which is about 12 cm in diameter. When an experiment is being conducted the moat around it is filled with water to confine the flies to the platform. Let's switch on the fluorescent lights for a better picture. You'll notice how these lights don't flicker in the video camera. This is because we are driving them with a kilohertz AC power supply such that the flies cannot see the flicker either. You can now see that there are two stripes on the lit wall of the arena exactly opposite each other. The black object in the middle of the image suspended over the platform is a webcam recording the position of the fly as it walks on the platform. In this screen capture from the webcam, you can see the position of the fly indicated by the crosshairs. Our software records the position of the fly and stores the coordinates for later analysis. You can see that the fly preferentially walks up and down on the platform. The reason for this direction is the location of the stripes outside the field of view of the webcam. Wild type flies will walk towards one of the stripes realize they cannot reach it because of the water and then turn around to walk towards the other stripe. Hence the reference to Buridan's ass in this experiment. Let's observe the fly for a minute. Here's the path the fly took in this 5 minute experiment we just saw in time lapse. Our software can now count the number of times this particular fly walked between the stripes or average many such traces and calculate occupancy plots. Or we can compare the walking speed between wild type and mutant or transgenic flies, how many stops and starts they make and many other parameters.